changing climate and growing world population, farmers are tasked to produce more food under more challenging conditions. Drought not only affects the total yield of crops, but can also affect the nutritional quality of food. This can result in hidden hunger caused by a lack of essential vitamins and minerals in the diet. Globally, 7 billion people suffer from malnutrition and 2 billion from iron and zinc deficiency. Developing countries are most at risk, with Africa predicted to have the highest number of undernourished people in the world by 2030, followed by Asia and Latin America. In order to feed a growing population of undernourished people, we will not only have to produce more food, but also more nutritious food. It is therefore essential to address the following problems. Improving the nutritional quality of crops, development of crop varieties with improved drought resilience, and balancing the consumption of animal and plant-based proteins to ensure adequate nutrient intake and reduce the environmental impact of our food. These three aspects will be addressed in the BioBelief project with the focus on common bean seed quality production and drought response. Fasciolus vulgaris, or the common bean, is the most produced and consumed grain legume in the world. In the last decade, bean production has increased almost 30% globally, with the highest growth seen in Africa and Asia. In Sub-Saharan Africa, common bean is produced on more than 3.5 million hectares and with an average consumption of 38 kilograms per person per year, it makes a significant contribution to food security. Current predictions, however, indicate that these production areas are under severe threat from climate change. Beans are not only an excellent source of proteins, but they're also rich in fiber and minerals, especially iron and zinc. It contains no cholesterol, and is low in saturated fats. But beans also contain a variety of anti-nutritional compounds, such as phytic acid and polyphenols, that can limit the bioavailability of minerals. Key partners within the BioBelief project have carried out previous studies to improve the nutritional quality of bean seeds through biofortification as well as by reducing the concentration of anti-nutritional compounds such as phytic acid. The extent to which climatic stress, like drought, influences the anti-nutritional compounds and thereby the bioavailability of minerals is not known and will be investigated in this project. The development of biofortified bean lines with higher iron content have received a lot of attention over the last few years. To achieve iron biofortification in common bean, two approaches have been followed. Increasing the seed iron content and by lowering the phytic acid concentration in seed using conventional breeding. A promising development in bean biofortification is the combination of these traits into a single line. BioBelief brings together a diverse team of international scientists from Africa, Europe and South America to address the problem of developing climate-resilient bean lines containing higher levels of bioavailable iron to meet the challenges of food and nutritional security of the future. The team includes, from Italy, researchers from the Council for Research in Agriculture and Agricultural Economics Analysis, the National Research Council's Institute for Agricultural Biology and Biotechnology, and the seed company Blumen. Researchers from the Center of Cardiovascular and Nutritional Research of Marseille at the Ex-Marseille University in France, the Brazilian Agricultural Research Corporation the Alliance of Biodiversity International and International Center of Tropical Agriculture in Kenya. And the project is coordinated through the Forestry and Agricultural Biotechnology Institute 
at the University of Pretoria in South Africa. Biofortified bean lines developed for classical breeding by our BioBelief partners will be used in the project. Combining traits such as high iron and low phytic acid with drought resilience using classical breeding as well as modern gene editing technologies will prove a huge step forward in addressing food and nutritional security. It will be essential for newly developed biofortified bean lines to perform under a variety of climatic and field conditions. New lines will have to be evaluated against commercial lines used in the different regions and the best traits with regards to yield and quality will then be combined. The slow wilting phenotype will be used to assess the performance of different bean lines under drought conditions in the field. Emphasis will also be placed on the nutritional quality of seeds produced under stress conditions in order to produce a tangible solution for nationally optimized and climate resilient varieties to cater for the future. It is important that newly developed bean lines not only be able to cope with adverse climatic conditions, but that they should also cover the nutritional requirements when used in optimized recipes. Evaluating the effect of traditional cooking techniques on the nutritional quality and composition of newly developed lines are therefore a critical component in order to deliver a healthy and balanced diet. Incorporating traditional recipes with modern innovations to capture the complexity of a wholesome diet is therefore an important aspect of delivering a wholesome health approach as well as addressing sustainability in the context of a changing climate and food security for the future. BioBelief, offering solutions from lab to field to plate.